That is salmon. That's just marinated in... It's like an Italian dressing. Oh, dear. What's this? Oh. Seafood restaurant on the water. Tuna and dyed pink to make it look authentic. Look at it. My god. Unbelievable. And here we have... That looks like the mushroom risotto. Great risotto. Unbelievable. Alarmed by the state of the kitchen, Gordon is anxious to take the staff on a tour. Good morning. There's something I want to show you guys, yeah? Come with me. Come in. The general hygiene of this fridge is a fucking joke. All right, come round. Walking round, want to get up to speed, looking at the ingredients, checking. What is that? Is that just taken from the steam table and dumped on the trolley and then whisked yes, in here? That's exactly what it is. That should be straight in the trash. Hey, I ate here yesterday. Yeah. I'm not happy. Whoever's responsible, 40 years in the business, well experienced, you have to seriously start opening your eyes. This place is not right here. We got no chance. I did not know that was going on. Item after item. Oh, I was pissed. What's this here? I um, believe it's beef tips. Beef bits in blood. That's nasty. I need some answers, AJ. It's pretty terrible, and uh, you know a lot of it lies on AJ. There's no excuse for it. And that's the that's the classic of the day. That, ladies and gentlemen, is a risotto. Take a good look. Unfortunately, it's not a drawing. That's real, serious shit at its best. It's a joke. Look at the fucking color of the chicken. AJ, can I have a look at it? Yeah, no, okay. you've got to see it, AJ. I do see it. My father doesn't want to deal with the back of the house. The back of the house is falling apart. That's my frustration. I'm sorry, but it's not right. It's got to be somebody's responsibility. I'm not going to take responsibility. It's the owner's fault. Why would I blame myself for that? I'm not going to blame him for that. Unbelievable. Trusting my dad is obviously not working. Look at where all our money is gone. I'm really oh, mad right now. They can't go on like this. Get everyone together. We're going to just get everything cleaned up, start scrubbing walls, cleaning all the stoves, get rid of all that food in there, whatever's dirty, garbage. Yes. Yeah, Gordon, how are you? Yes, Chef Gordon, how are you, sir? Very well, thank you, sir. Pleasure to meet you. Likewise. Working here with Chef Gordon Ramsay, it's like, as an actor, having uh, Robert De Niro say, you know what, I'm going to help you with this role. Man. Let me take a seat. Please. And I'll go this one here, actually. OK. Thank you. Do you always serve? Do I always serve? No, but I do greet and meet every customer that walks in the door. Jesus. Every single customer, whether I come over and just say hello, or I spend 10 minutes, sit down, and have a glass of wine with you. You sit down with the customers and drink wine? Why not? Oh, fuck me. Christ. There's uh, photographs on the menu. There's pictures. Are these real, these photographs? Yes, they are, sir. I took those myself. It looks ghastly. I've always had one simple room. Yes, sir. Whenever you come across a menu with photographs, get the fuck out of there. Our menu concept is very unusual and unique. I love the variety. Would you like a walkthrough of our main concept of the, of the menu? Concept? We have a concept, please. Over here is our main concept of the restaurant. What we have is 20 different combinations of marinades, toppings, and seasonings. What you do is you choose one, and then you add it to either chicken, portobello mushroom, New York strip, or shrimp. Angus ribeye, prime cut, that's cut for Sebastian's. You can have one of these combinations with an entree, with chips and gravy on the side, if you'd like, with one of our side salads. You can never see his face. He's sitting there explaining the menu, and Chef Gordon looks like his head's going to explode. <laughs> Available at any point in time, we have a half-pound Angus prime burger. I had actually 20 more. Are you serious? Yes, sir. God. I've never heard such a complex menu in my entire life. Probably not. OK. Um, OK, I'm going to start with some um, calamari. Calamari? Yes. Um, they're fresh? Yes, it is. Small portion of calamari. OK. Um, Chef Gordon questioned the, the quality of the calamari. Uh, my calamari is fresh. And then for um, my entree, I'd like to have a New York strip. OK. Can you make me a little uh, fresh pizza? What you type decide. of pizza would you, you like? You, you, you I'll decide. decide. Yeah? Perfect. Thank you. Lou, set me up a small dough, please. And what's your name? Sonia. Sonia. Good Hi. to see you. Nice to meet and you. What do you do? Um, I'm an actress. You're an actress? Yes, I ah. am. 
Put her up. Do you play with Sebastian? Because he's an actor. Oh, no. Oh, OK. I have it. And the calamari. Uh, are they fresh or are they frozen? They are frozen. Frozen. Oh, dear. He told me they're fresh. And they're not fresh, they're frozen. That confirms two things. Shit chef and a dishonest one. Can I get you anything? No. A sick bag? He asked me for a sick bag, which I was, didn't know what to say, so I was like, OK. <laughs> oh, God. He said that he wanted a puke bag. Excellent. Fantastic. Yeah. I didn't know what to say, though. You don't have to say anything. OK. You say yes, sir, and walk away. OK. No problem. OK. Sebastian, just you could tell in his face that he wasn't very happy with the comment. I understand the guy's a professional, but to say something like that, a sick bag, come on. Oh, my God. What in the fuck is that? That is a fucking joke. Victor, right, ladies, I want us all to get involved in doing something together. Yeah, so I wanted a little fun element. You make a burrito, you make a burrito, you make a burrito, and the best one goes on the menu tonight. That's what I wanted to do. I couldn't do it because of these little fuckers here. Look at them. Oh, my God. I'm so sick to my stomach. I want to throw up because I had coffee here earlier. I don't know if the roach went through my cup. I didn't know about this problem either. Two dishwashers, two prep cooks. Who's cleaning around here? Do they seriously put food on those plates? Vic's here seven days a week. I don't know how he didn't realize the problems in the kitchen. Can't you see these? I'm trying to move forward. I'm trying to get going, but every time I put my foot on the ladder, I get knocked back. Did you know this was like this? I noticed, I noticed, but... Uh, you I knew it? it? Yeah. We're going to have to do something we cannot open. I need an exterminator here. How can I start in attempting to cook when the place is festered with cockroaches? I didn't expect this. I don't think it could get worse. I don't even know what could make it worse at this point. After Chef Ramsay's dirty discovery, he immediately called in an exterminator. I have no idea things were that bad. Bloody hell. I'm pulling my hair out now. I'm sorry, but you're running the place. Sorry. Oh, you're so stupid. Where do I go, Vic? I feel embarrassed with Chef Brown's here. I don't think that uh, we can make it in this restaurant. You can't run a fucking restaurant like that. You think I'm not? I'm, I'm fucking embarrassed You now. should be fucking embarrassed. I'm not putting one foot in that place until that place is fucking clean. Yes? You're right. Now you start getting those guys cleaning, yes? Yes, sir. With some fucking pride! Do you understand the word pride? Yes. It's not possible for someone to have his head so far in his arsehole. Fuck me. Thank you. All right, this is the Connecticut or the hot lobster roll. OK. You're, this is the main lobster roll. Main no. lobster roll. Whoops. Connecticut, Maine, don't worry about that. And this is the New York City lobster roll. New York City? Yes. Connecticut, Maine. Gotcha. Already? Uh, that's great, thank you. Right, let's start off with CT. Drawn butter. <laughs> Horrible. Soaking wet bread. It's like eating a fucking wet diaper. So sorry, Connecticut, but I am moving on. Lobster's not seasoned. Land. What a shame. All right, so what did, what did you think of the main? Pretty piss poor, to be honest. I'm going to stop there. Thank you, Stephen. What's up? Well, he likes Stephen. Yeah. <laughs> That's all I know. That's his boy. Is he still here? Yeah, he's still upstairs. What's he doing? He's eating. He had uh, three lobster rolls, three different kinds. He had mac and cheese. He had um, Bangkok. David wants to know, is he paying for this? You should definitely give yeah, him a Yeah, give him a check. check. I can see that. That'll be fun, huh? After tasting the supposedly best food on the menu, how are you? Gordon gathers the three owners and head chef, Bill. Who oversees the food? I do. The award-winning lobster roll. Bread, soggy. Lobster bland. Do you not season it salt pepper when you bind it with mayonnaise? No. No. Why not? 
Well, we get most of our recipes and our ideas from Maine, and it's not the way it's done. Well, they have salt in Maine. I've, I've lived in Maine for three months. I know it very well. Chef Ramsay didn't like our lobster roll, and he said he's lived in Maine for three months. But if he'd lived in Maine for three months, he'd know that a lobster roll is exactly the way we make it. I'm really nervous now. I've never known a chef that's not allowed to season his food. Is this man your chef, or is he your puppet? No, he's my chef. David has this tone of being condescending and knowing it all. How much debt have we got over the house? Quarter mil. Yeah. Yeah. Who has the final say? If one of us presents an idea, we vote on it, and we decide whether we want to go forward with it or not. Is it hard running a business with three partners? It's hard for us, yeah. When was the last time all three of you sat down? We have not, we have not done so. OK. I don't feel that any of you are committed to making this work. Have we fallen out? Oh, yeah, a couple, three times, yeah. So that's yeah. why we don't meet? Yeah. OK. Who fell out with who? Oh, I get mad at them. Why? Because uh, I don't think they're doing what they need to do. And we feel exactly the same about him, of course. Yeah. yeah. I felt that Gordon was right about many things, but I think he jumped to conclusions and that we are not committed to Black Pearl. A restaurant run by three passionate owners, no chance. Brian, he works two days a week. David, well, I don't trust him one little inch. And as for Greg, well, he's pissed off with both of them. Basically, in a nutshell, sleepy, dopey, and grumpy. Who am I? Snow fucking white? Disappointed by the state of the restaurant, Gordon is concerned about the family's commitment to its own restaurant. Right, got in early this morning, second new day, and I'm somewhat not just confused, but disappointed, yeah? Come with me, let me show you something. How old is that? Tuesday. Tuesday? Oh, come on, guys. How old is this? Well, hold it and smell it. Touch it. Sticky. Ugh. Let's come outside. The walk-in is just rubbish, really. It looks like shit. It's horrible. It's old. Probably about as old as Eric. This is the killer for me. Pass it round. It's three months old. And then, look, only in California. What in the fuck is that? It made me sick. I hated to see it. We talk about cleaning out the refrigerator, making sure things are clean all the time. And to my surprise, they aren't. Nyla, the state of that fridge in there confirms whoever's running this place in terms of kitchen management has given up. They don't give a fuck about you, and they don't give a fuck about standards. I went into the bathrooms, and that's where it got worse. I need two minutes with you. Uh, you start taking that out, yeah? And um, I get a bin, get every ounce of dirt out of there. Having a dirty refrigeration unit is one thing. Having a filthy bathroom is something that fucking scares the hell out of me. This thing here detects body fluids. Just have a look at this. That's body fluids up there? That there has got nothing to do with any form of cleaning. Look at the fucking state of this. Green, 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 green. But here's where it gets really scary. How the hell is it up there? It looked like some of you may have peed on the ceiling, the walls, the doors. You know, could be throw up. I can't even imagine, you know. I mean, it made me sick. I didn't even want to touch the door and I'm coming out myself. Bring your son in. Yeah, I'm not going in there. My god. This is body fluid. Body fluid's on the ceiling. Uh huh. People are peeing. Up on the ceiling. Well, pretty good maybe. at that. As Nyla shows her sons the bathrooms, Gordon's inspection continues at the kitchen prep area. What in the fuck is going on here? It just shows that there's no bleach. You know, these walls probably haven't been washed. Oh, your horse. What in the fuck are they? Look at that there. Holy shit. Jimmy, come here. People pissing on the ceiling. What? What is that? That's supposed to be his meatballs. Good God. Have a look. Those are from Super Bowl Sunday. Super Bowl Sunday. Yes. And Ryan, what would you recommend? The Big Bay Club. It has our shrimp salad and crab cake. Well, let's start off with that, shall we? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. And I'll go for the much better the mom's. Much better the mom's meatloaf. 
as in better than mum's at home. Better than your own mum. Yeah. Wow. Okay, great. What else? So I've got to go for the bomber. Fish and chips. It's bomber. 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 Ball. Balmer. So it's something like Baltimore. Oh, so you're okay. saying it quickly. Balmer. Bomber. <laughs> it's Balmerese. Balinese. Balmerese. Oh, Balmerese, right. Say the word bomber. Bomber. Yes. Thank you, Hon. 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 Short for honey. Honey. Love it. <laughs> Amazing. Thank you, Hon. Hon, Hon, Hon. Fish and chips, Taylor. Okay. Now it's in the kitchen, series. Okay, that's for chef. All right, I'll stop. All right, we can go on the big bag. You know, I used to just say, you know, serve good food and the people will come. This is what it should always taste like. This is perfect. Well, we continue to serve good food, but the people don't come. Big bag? Is that my big bag? Mm -hmm. Yes. Are you taking that or you want me to take it? Go ahead. Tower of Seafood. Holy mackerel. Big Bay Club. What's in there? This is a layer of shrimp salad, mm -hmm. a layer of long crab cake, mm -hmm. bacon, and lettuce and tomato. Thank you. How the hell do you start eating sandwich this wide? Uh, I mean, honestly, squash it all down. I surrender. I have to break it down. Deconstruct it. Mm, wow. The crab is delicious. It's a very pleasant surprise, let me tell you. Got this nice layer of crab, and then these stone cold shrimp. Underneath, horrible. Amanda? Oh, gross. This bit here, I mean, they, they taste like they're a week old. Do you mind? God, they're ghastly. Taste of the fridge. Mm, it does have a weird aftertaste. That's, it's horrible, that aftertaste. Mm -hmm. It almost tastes like they're tainted. Yeah. That's a mess. I'll leave that one, darling. Yes, chef. They said the, uh, said the shrimp tastes, that they had like a weird aftertaste to it, like almost tastes like really? the refrigerator. What's the matter? Hmm. He said they taste like they're old. A lot of the menu items are crap. It's Denise's recipes. It's the way she wants it done. I don't, I don't understand. This is perfect. Denise never thinks she's wrong. This is perfect. And that's her biggest downfall.